Hello, my name is David Jamison. Uh, today we're going to show you how to use Lemur running on an iPad uh, to synchronize with widgets running on Gig Performer. Uh, this allows you to get a view of your current widgets on your iPad as well as adjust the widgets from your iPad, which is very convenient when you're live because you can put your iPad in front of your keyboard and quickly uh, see the state of your system, adjust some controls, and even see song notes that may be relevant. Uh, you'll see in this example at the bottom there are a couple of interesting buttons. At the bottom left is a button called tap. That's used for sending tap tempo messages to Geek Performer. Geek Performer can measure these taps and set the BPM. I'm going to tap on my physical iPad. Now you'll see the BPM changing as I tap. There we go. Next to it is a couple of widgets to control the guitar tuner. Now, as a keyboard player, I don't need this, but I put it there so that those of you who are guitar players uh, can, in fact, use the guitar tuner controls from your iPad. When you tap this tuner button, the gig will switch to guitar tuner mode. And as you can see, as it detects notes, which of course is having trouble doing because I'm not playing a guitar, it sends that note information back to the lemur on your iPad along with the sense of left or right. You can see that little dial to the right of the note. So we'll turn that off again. All right, now on the left, Gig Performer is displaying a gig for one of my bands, which is a Pink Floyd tribute band, and currently we have an empty song selected. So let's select a song will select Welcome to the Machine. When I switch to that song, you'll see a panel appears that has all the knobs that control the volumes of the various sounds that I'm using. Now on the right, you'll see the dials displaying the names of various widgets. And there's also a couple of sliders. Now, the sliders are basically the same as knobs. I just happen to display them as sliders. If I move a, say, the wind effects volume slider on my iPad, you'll see it's changing on Geek Performer as well. So basically, when I switch to any song, you're going to see just those dials and knobs, perhaps switches that are needed for that particular song, along with the name. So for example, let's go to uh, us and them. Okay, we have a couple of songs here, piano, choir, the volume pedal, the expression pedal for the Hammond organ. And we also have the song notes that also display at the bottom. And this works everywhere. If I go to money, again, we just see a few knobs in the iPad and some notes uh, near the bottom. So this is a very convenient way to display just pieces of a song that you need to control and everything else is hidden so that it's very easy for you to see exactly what parts of the song you're controlling. Now the way this works is in Lemur the 10 knobs at the top have OSC addresses slash knob 1 slash knob 2 to slash knob 10. The sliders have names slash slider 1 slash slider 2 and so on. And when you're in Gig Performer Basically, when you create these objects, widgets, if you click on one, you'll see we give them names. The OSC name, knob 1, knob 2, uh, this one expression is slider 10. And as soon as you give them OSC names that match names that are available in Lemur, you're good to go.